Hello and welcome to the channel. Um, this is my three for Thursdays, started by Paddy Potato Peelers, the legend it is. Uh, but also this is a bit of a reply to a comment I had on a video recently from the Knife Raven. So he's a fellow YouTuber, got a, um, his channel's I've been a sort of subscriber to him years before I had this channel on my personal channel, um, like similar knives to him. Um, the comment section on YouTube is absolutely brilliant. So I don't want to leave anybody out, um, but you all, I really enjoy get, like chatting to you all and getting to know you all. Um, I've had some really good comments. Um, really enjoy uh, getting back to you. Um, I, I answer everybody. I don't answer everybody because I feel like I need to. I generally, I get more from you guys than you get from me, I can assure you. Uh, there was somebody today, Ian, who sort of gave me a heads up. He had some dealings with Otter himself directly and gave me a heads up so I really appreciate that. Um, there's a guy called Drew on there who's from the UK who buys from the same sort of place I do and he's got the same taste in knives so he's a bit of my competitor out there but uh, he's got really good taste in knives, really enjoy sort of talking to him, he's got a sort of same perspective as me on knives um, and I'll probably miss loads of people out but you know it's just really good uh, having those comments um, from everybody and, and chatting about knives. That's what it's all about, really. That's why I started this thing. So um, I appreciate them keeping coming. Um, that's why I felt I had to do this video, really, for Knife Raven, because um, he asked, I will deliver. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, unfortunately, mate, I should have... So you said, oh, yeah, get a weaver's knife. And I said, yeah, yeah, got one, mate, got one. Um, and I s compared it to... The English Tackler. So this is called a weaver's knife. It's swayback design with a Warncliffe. The Warncliffe is really stout. Uh, carbon steel blade, as you can see. Uh, I cleaned it not that long ago, but it's coming back. But, um, yeah, so this is not as a, a tip. As you can tell, that's got a bit more of a tip on it. And that's a bit more stouter. Now, the Arthur Wright version of the Tackler, rosewood covers, and it got a similar blade shape to this, rather than the pointier Taylor's Eyewitness pokier one so it would have been a, probably a better comparison but i don't think i've got one of them well i might have it. Uh, no no definitely i don't think i've got one of them mate um but yeah they are bang on more or less the same knife this will cost you probably a bit more than the uh, arthur Wright's one um, but this this is a beautiful knife i think they've done a really good job half stop um so really really nice knife right down the middle haftings all beautiful um uh, small gap in, but you know, it's a it's a good working knife that one. Uh, they went a bit crazy with the nail nick, it's massive, but this is a pinchable open one as well. So really good, strong walk and talk. Um, yeah, beautiful knife. About forty pounds in the UK. I think if you go to Otto, about sixty euros or something like that. Um, and then yeah, so staying with this sort of pattern, this is a Taylor's Eyewitness um, stainless steel blade. I think it's there 420 I think um, with the plastic covers I wanted to try these plastic covers out because I've seen a video I can't remember it weren't like a main knife channel that anybody would know but um, I just stumbled across it and there was a guy showing his dad who was a farmer um, and he had this black so these have been these black covers have been going for a while uh, and this thing was he'd had it forever and a day it really sort of ground down the blade um, and um, but they're really sort of Taylor's Eyewitness are doing like an endurance range now, which is like a budget, uh, different covers than this. So I think I'll pick one up so we can have a look at it. But um, this plastic's good, you know, obviously you can get it wet and mucky, and it's you know, you wash it down, jobs are good, and everything goes to stainless steel. So it makes a really good practical work knife, and I do enjoy it. I enjoy a cheap budget work knife. Um, now this is called the Workman, I believe, from Rough Rider. Now, I wanted to get the one with the black Macarta, but I just missed it. And then, so, but I waited, and this was their second version of it <clears throat> with the black and blue Macarta, called the Work Knife. Who's taken this onto uh, a building site or a farm or anything? Look how beautiful it is. You got ring bolsters, you know, it's that swedging. It's R R R two one eight one. Um, but yeah, it's too nice to get battered if you ask me. This is a Sunday best job. Eh? Nice walk and talk, half stop. Uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful um, knife. Um, and I've got really good 
fit and finish one the fit and finish on this one is spot on with that centering um but yeah that's my free for thursdays i'll get them all out the sway back they've all got different names um the weaver knife the tackler uh, just a sway back design with a Warncliffe blade um you all know tony um god rest his soul um who worked with case he did this which is in my opinion the best fifth pocket um knife um and this is a, just a miniature version of the let's find one that's got a bit more of a pronounced sway back so just a miniature version of this style of knife but yeah i love this as well so yeah three for thursdays guys thanks for all your comments and support while i've got you here i I'll, uh, just wanted to uh, mention a few videos that might be coming out see if it spot you know you like the sounds of them um i've got victoria not to do a, a range called the Sp uh, swiss spirit range um they bring one out every year they have done since 2019 um i wanted to showcase um one of them i don't know uh yeah probably do that um, there was a Rough Rider uh, open tag a while ago, five of your best Rough ride Riders. It was ages ago, but you know, now I've got a channel uh, and I like open tags. I want to just uh, sort of ant to that, even though it's gone and finished already. I thought I can still have a go at that. Um, what else? I've got a T, uh, sorry, an Arthur Wright with some unusual covers, like a short run of them that I just, uh, uh, not a special, just one of these where they had a short run. Um, so I'm going to do a video of that. Um, just a little. So I ran out of case paste and um, I couldn't get any. And some of the UK guys were going on about this on one of the lives, uh, something they use. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. And yeah, it's good. I'd recommend this as well. So if you get stuck and you can't find your um, metal polish of your choice, try this. It's it, quite affordable and on Amazon. I want to show you this, guys, as well while I've got you here. So this was a Father's Day gift um, from my um, from my wife and my kids. But happy Father's Day. I wish they could subscribe. I need the subscribers, guys. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was a nice a nice present. So she's been appreciating the channel. Um, she says I've been uh, in a better mood. So it must be doing something good for me. Uh, but yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for the comments. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.